five reasons your manifestations may be failing. Hi, my name is Dr. Meghna Dixit. I'm the author of the book You Matter and Brilliant Performance Expert. Today we are talking about the five reasons or behaviors that may be causing your manifestations to not come into reality. But before we begin, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you hear about the new video every single time. So let's talk about what are the five reasons or maybe five behaviors that you may have or you may be doing that may be causing your manifestations to not come into reality. Now I'm sure all of you here are watching this video because you are interested in manifestation and you may be trying it also for various ways, vision boards, affirmations, listening to some music, subliminal frequencies and whatnot. But why does it happen that sometimes our manifestations come to reality very quickly and sometimes it delays or sometimes it just doesn't happen. So today I'm going to share with you these five reasons that may be causing your manifestations to delay or not become your reality. Now when you're manifesting, please remember this, you're not manifesting for just 10 minutes, for 15 minutes, for 30 minutes. First thing that you must be aware of is you're manifesting 24 hours. You had it right, 24 hours. Manifestation is happening through your frequency, through your energy and through your thoughts. And they are 24 hours. The number one reason your manifestation is not coming true is because you're just believing in them or you're just thinking about them or maybe you're just writing about them. A lot of times people feel that if they write about their goals, if they write about their manifestations, that's enough. So say people start writing affirmations. Affirmations say about me becoming millennial. So you're writing this letter, I'm a millennial, I'm a millennial, I'm a millennial. Now you know what, you're just writing this sentence, but in your subconscious mind, your subconscious is going back into the reality and checking, what's the bank balance? What are your assets? Is there any kind of a sign or any kind of a signal that you have in front of you that's showing or is there any opportunity that at least showing that you're becoming millennial? Now if that's not there, your subconscious goes on protest. Because this whole sentence, I am a millennial, for your subconscious mind is a very alien statement. And it says, I don't recognize this. And what your subconscious does not recognize is unknown for your subconscious mind. And whatever is unknown is unpredictable, is unreal, and it could be danger. And every time there is something like that comes up, your subconscious mind just protests and says, but you're not. You write, I am so and so kilograms. But you're not. Uh, I am attracting this beautiful relationship. But you're not. Your subconscious is constantly protesting and telling you that you're not. So then what? Is writing enough or is saying affirmations enough? No. Then what exactly you need to do to start manifesting that desire of yours? Now first thing first, when you understand that when you put your desire out, you come from the space of I want that million dollars or I want that relationship I want that perfect weight right now when you say I want something think carefully where does it coming come from is it coming from the space of abundance of you already having it or it is coming from the space of lack every time you say I want something it is coming from the space of lack now whenever it is coming from the space of lack remember you are emitting the frequency of lack. What is this frequency? Your body is a chemical factory. There are more than 120 chemicals your body is generating every single day. And based on the emotions that you feel, the memories that are stored in your subconscious mind, the physical reality that you're living in, your subconscious mind is giving signals to your brain to produce these chemicals. Now, whenever you have the chemicals produced that are of stress, anxiety and lack, your frequencies are very low. And when your frequencies are very low, you are attracting from that lower frequency. And whenever you are attracting from the lower frequency, you are attracting the lower results. So no matter how much you want higher results, how much you desire to be in that better frequency, but if your body is emitting a lower frequency, you're simply going to attract the same results. So believing or writing or thinking about this is not enough. Have you done the subconscious work 
in terms of have you released all that past baggage of lack have you released all that past baggage of trauma have you released all that past baggage of memories of lack of you know of things not having enough for you and have you installed a new software that is looking forward for creating a new future for yourself now you see when you create a new future for yourself you don't create from the desire but you create from the space of you becoming that person so how does a million dollar worth person behaves how does a million dollar worth person thinks how does a million dollar worth person talks how does a million dollar per- worth person feels the moment you start thinking feeling and behaving as if a million dollar person you start attracting opportunities to get that million dollar in reality so don't just focus on writing things or saying things but focus on becoming those things if this resonates with you then quickly let me know in the chat box what are you going to exactly manifest in your reality from today on Reason number 2 Once you state your manifestations and once you state your desires a lot of times i feel people get impatient you know a lot of times you will see on social media at various channels at various places where the manifestations are talked about people talk about quick 24 hours manifestations well you know great it's all nice to get you viral on your reels and social media and youtube platforms but sometimes it's a hogwash because that is feeding into people's mind that if you start manifesting your desire you are going to get it in 24 hours for some people it may be true because they have done the ground work so their desires are manifesting faster but for some of you maybe the ground work is missing maybe the foundation is missing and if the foundation is missing you're not been able to build burj khalifa without that foundation So how about creating that foundation first? Most of times you getting impatient is going to create the resistance in your subconscious mind. Because the impatience is causing more delay. What's happening in your space is every time you are you you are sitting in manifesting this desire, back of your mind is oh, when is it going to happen? Why is it so much of delay? Why this time? Why this is happening? Why that is happening? Think about it. If you place an order on Amazon You do it with lot of research you you like the product you check the review and you place that order on Amazon and imagine that once you place that order you paid for that order what do you do you wait for the order to deliver to you but imagine if you place the order and next second onwards you start calling on Amazon customer care where is my order when i'm going to get it where is my order when i'm going to get it the, the person who's at the customer care is going to get fed up and most likely is going to tell the people behind that please delay the order of this person because this person is really very irritating or maybe he'll send you a broken order maybe there will create some problems in your order because you are very irritating you are constantly impatient and you're constantly asking the question none of you are doing that in real life aren't you when you place an order on amazon or any online shopping cart you are not getting impatient you are very patiently waiting for the order to deliver to you same goes with your universe when you state a order when you put an order when you say state a desire that you want to manifest you got to be patient because when you're not patient you're creating a lot of resistance in that order to be delivered in your life so building patience is a key for you to manifest your desires faster Now how do you build patience by removing the attachment to the outcome you have whatever you want to desire you you thought about that desire you thought about this is what i want in my life now the first thing first is you are becoming that person who can then hold that desire in reality and then releasing the attachment to the results putting so much of pressure on yourself when is it going to happen whether it's going to happen or not you are just making your path clear you are just getting ready and leave the results to the universe whenever it has to happen i know it's not easy building patience is a number one key 
for you to manifest your life the way you want. Reason number two, if you don't believe that you can manifest your desire, a lot of times people think that they believe. People want to be positive thinkers and every time there's a negative uh, thought comes up, you want to brush it away. A lot of times uh, uh, people ask me this question that, you know, how do I stop thinking negative? Well, you can't. When you are manifesting something, yes, it's all great to think positive and to believe that you can manifest your desires, but there will be some parts of you which will doubt and which will question. Now, what do you do with those doubts and with those questions? The art of manifesting is quieting those doubts, is to, is to ask those doubts to keep quiet and we do it with love and compassion, not harshly. Yes, it's very important to be trusting and believing in what you want, but it's more important to be certain about manifesting your desire. So there's a difference between belief and certainty. You may believe something, but if you're not certain about it, then that belief is still very weak. So how can you be certain about what you're manifesting is going to happen and it's going to happen for you very soon. How are you, how, uh, how can you increase the level of your certainty? How can you pump in that certainty into your belief? Like how, what certainty? If I asked you today, is there, will there be sunrise tomorrow? Your answer is going to be yes, because you're certain about it. It's been happening for years and it's going to happen for years. It's always going to happen. But if I ask you, are you going to manifest your desire? Will it happen? Now you see, the answer that comes out of you, is it same amount of certainty as the sunrise or is it weaker than that? Now you know what I mean? Your belief, you have to pump in the certainty in your belief that no matter what, I'm getting what I'm desiring. I know I'm going to make it happen in my life. How are you going to make it even more certain? I'll tell you the way I make things certain for me. Now, when I want something in my life, I don't just sit on that want or just don't believe in it like, you know, oh yes, I deserve to have this. Yes, I do. And to, to build in certainty in that space, I start working towards making my desire come into reality. Now, how do I start working towards the certainty? I start working towards my thoughts. I start working towards my clarity. I start working towards the emotions that I feel on every single moment. Now see, you may not be 100% positive throughout your day, but even if you are say 50%, 60%, 70% positive, and, and the more you increase this every single day, the more you become certain. Now how do you increase that positivity? Again, by releasing your past baggage. By standing on nothing, most of the times we are negative because we have worries of the future and we have traumas of the past. When you clear yourself from the trauma of the past and when you start visualizing the future and then you become that person. You see, when you visualize, there's still a separation. But when your body feels that emotion, that's where you become that person. You become one with your desire and that certainty. So when you think of sunrise, your body is certain. You know that sense. You know how, the, how it feels. If you think of the color of your car, if it's red, if it's blue, when you think of that color, you are certain about that color, right? That color that your car has. Same things, you have to be very, very certain about your, that future in your body. So building that bridge, between the belief and certainty is very critical for you to manifest your desire. What happens with people is when you are manifesting a beautiful life for yourself, a lot of times you indulge in talking about what negative happened in your life. A lot of times people keep talking about their past because they haven't gotten over it. And when you keep repeating the negative story about your life in your space, talking to others, talking to yourself, constantly ruminating about the past that you could not get over with. No matter how much you want to, you know, attract the good things in your life, you attract who you are. You don't attract what you want. 
and when you constantly repeat the same negative stories in your space you're actually vibrating at the frequency of that negative past and then you probably create the same future for yourself or rather worse and then you wonder manifestations don't work i said it in the beginning right that you know you don't attract the future just in that half an hour of visualization or thinking about manifestation you attract your manifestations every single moment so what you are thinking every single moment how much is your negative thinking how much is your negative stories played in your mind again and again the you know depending on that how your future is going to be whether it's going to be the same as it was in the past or whether it's going to be worse than that it all depends on the conversations that you have with yourself and with others rewrite your story whatever is your past be work on it let it go and rewrite the new story that you want to create for yourself reason number 5 you are not able to attract what you want and this is a very critical reason okay because every time you are manifesting something universe is sending you the signals how do you get this signals suppose you're manifesting a beautiful relationship right in your life and you start seeing good loving couples around you that's a sign you are manifesting money and you see somebody getting money or somebody getting a better opportunity that's a sign that's a sign that universe is telling you that your manifestations are coming closer but noticing these signs and being grateful about them is your job now sometimes what happens is you know so suppose you are you know manifesting a, a visa for a foreign country for education or for something but unfortunately your visa is denied now how do you look at that situation if your visa is denied there is something that universe is trying to tell you or teach you maybe it's teaching you that maybe you're still not ready or you got to get ready for something or there is some gap that you need to fill up now getting upset that your manifestations did not come true is something that you're going to punish yourself big time rather than that whether the signs are positive or negative looking at those signs and being grateful about them if they're positive yappy celebrate and wait for your manifestations to come true and if it's negative signs then start looking at what do you need to do to vibrate at the frequency of attracting the positive signs when you start noticing the signs and when you're grateful about them remember you are attracting the manifestations that you have been trying to do for a very long time If you like this video do not forget to share it with at least 10 friends of yours if any of these behaviors that you are doing in your life that's delaying your manifestation let me know in the comment box and make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and give me a thumbs up